Across all of the observations that I have done, by far the most common motif that I've observed has been that of pair work. It's almost taken as a given by most teachers that you haven't really had an oral communication class unless there's been some sort of pair work activity. And that's a little ironic because I'm pretty sure that about 95% of these activities are ineffective. The students spend quite a bit of time speaking to each other in Japanese. They tend not to use authentic rhythm, melody, and pronunciation. And something about the way these activities get set up results in kids doing quite a bit of reading of English off of a page. Now, I'm not saying, I'm going to set aside the question of whether or not pair work is a valid choice of activities. What I want to do is look in a more detached way at the question of why we're doing pair work and build forward from there to answer the question of how we can make pair work activities more effective. That's what this video series is going to be about.